one of the other things I just made a change on as well is I did uh, enact the cancellation of my DirecTV stream service in favor of switching over to YouTube TV for a little while. So um, if you go back to some of the videos I did reviewing DirecTV stream, I made some comments. I was on this pretty sweetheart grandfathered plan, something like $60 a month for a pretty decent channel package, unlimited DVR, and a couple of other bonuses and, and so on. Basically, service that if you were to sign up for today costs something in excess of like $100, $105 or something like that. So I got the letter, hey, your year is up at mid-March and you're coming off a promo and we're going to change your rate to this like 90 some dollar a month package that didn't even reflect the unlimited DVR. That would have been another 10 bucks or whatever. So I said, all right, screw you guys. Um, I'm going to try YouTube TV anyway. Because I haven't really been that happy with the operation of the DirecTV stream app on my Apple TV. It launches janky sometimes. It doesn't always exit gracefully. You like you get stuck in there with the Control 4 remote and you can't exit the app. You got to get the Apple remote out and do the double tap on the guy to force close the app and such. And some of the jump forward, skip back kind of features, again, it's, it's janky. It, it, it hasn't been good. Their software really ebbs and flows. It'll work pretty well sometimes and then there'll be an update or tvos will change and it'll work like crap and then they'll change it again so anyway i'm on youtube tv right now just fired that up a couple days ago um, got it loaded on all my devices and such got the 4k plan 4k sports just looks awesome but so far the little bit of use that i've had it just runs it's so much snappy it loads it's open it works the skip forward and back is sharp and precise and so I'll be talking a little bit more about YouTube TV probably um, to come, you know, in some future videos. But so far, honeymoon period or whatever. But I like the operation of the YouTube TV app and capability far more, uh, far more reliably than the Direct TV stream app has been acting for probably at least a few months. So happy with that change and we'll see how it works out for the long term.